Thai da 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 però anche questo formato ha le sue peculiarità, i suoi vantaggi. Per esempio, posso aggiungere una traduzione I can add a simultaneous translation. E posso perfino mettere dei sottotitoli. I can even add subtitles. Posso avere tre voci. I can have three voices. Mi chiamo Andrea Baccomo. My name is Andrea Baccomo and I'm a musician. Artista. Musician. Musician. It's very simple. There's a theme, a melody that is played. This is the first voice. While the first voice plays the theme, a second voice repeats the same melody after a given duration, creating a counterpoint. A third, fourth, fifth voice is added, which repeats the same process. In effect, the initial melody harmonizes with itself. This is a canon, a type of canon, because in reality, the initial melody doesn't need to be repeated exactly. It could be modified. The important thing is that the information of the theme is preserved in some way. The initial idea was to perform a canon in which the voices were not instruments, but disciplines. The first voice would have been the music, the second voice the words, and the third the juggling. During the rehearsals and the research for the piece, the idea evolved. The words left space for projections, and in the end everything transformed from theatrical piece into something else entirely.
At the end of the 1800s, Joseph John Thompson discovered the first subatomic particle, the electron, and he demonstrated its corpuscular nature. Thompson won the Nobel Prize for Physics for this discovery. So, the electron is a particle. Got it. Later, other experiments were made, and the results were in apparent contradiction to those of Thompson. In 1937, two physicists won the Nobel Prize for having demonstrated that the electron has a wave-like nature. Their names were Clinton Joseph Davison and George Paget Thompson, the son of Joseph John Thompson. Father and son honoured 30 years apart with the most important scientific recognition for having demonstrated two contradictory things. And yet both of them are right in their own way. My father was a musician, not professionally, but it was his passion. He was a man of few words, preferring to express himself through music. He played various instruments, but the accordion was his voice, also played by his father, my grandfather. Town fates, youth bands, military orchestras, but it was always clear to my father that music was just a hobby, a passion that would be relegated to two hours on Friday evenings. And so, when he had to choose between an office job and a European tour, he didn't think twice, or at least that's what he had me believe.
Quando avevo sei anni, mio padre cominciò a insegnare When I was six, my father started teaching me to play his instrument, as he had done with all my brothers. A quei tempi però la fisarmonica non mi piaceva tanto. At the time I didn't like the accordion. Vecchio provinciale. I think it was an old provincial instrument. And the music I played with it. Well, let's just say my father and I had different tastes. But that was the start of my relationship with music. When I then expressed the desire to play the saxophone or the guitar, my father, normally strict and parsimonious, was enthusiastic and actually supported these new interests of mine. However, for him, it should just remain a hobby. Because being an artist will get you nowhere. I was 15 years old when I decided I wanted to become an artist. I didn't know how, and I didn't even know what being an artist meant. But I was sure that that was what I was going to do. I finished school, I studied mathematics, all the while knowing that I wasn't going to do what my father did. Between working in an office and going on tour in Europe, I knew what I would choose. Even so, today I understand my father.
Una routine è una sequenza di giocoleria. A routine is a juggling sequence. It doesn't necessarily have to be a trick. It can be a combination of movements of different lengths, even very brief. To succeed in creating a good routine of a few seconds can sometimes take me hours of training. This is because I'm not a talented juggler. To put it simply, I spend a lot of that time throwing and collecting balls. I think the concept of talent can be a dangerous illusion. A bit like the concept of inspiration. You try, you get it wrong, you analyze, you correct, you try again, you get it wrong, you try once more, you get it wrong again, and repeat, 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 repeat. When I became a parent, my perspective was turned completely upside down. I had always seen myself as a son, but suddenly I found myself in my parents' position, in the role of dad alongside that of son. From this perspective, I finally feel like I understand my parents, and I can see them not just as mum and dad, but rather as people. People like me.
pas. Credo di essere la parola preferita di mia figlia. I think I'm my daughter's favorite word. Not person, that's her mum. Yes, I'm shy. It's not so unusual that an introverted person performs on a stage in front of an audience. Compensation, they say. But I think it's something different. My shyness is nothing more than a calm form of megalomania. The thought that the people around me are constantly judging my every action, my every word, is caused by the conviction that I am the center of attention. The fear of that judgment leads me to not want to put myself on show. Because inevitably, anything that I do will not be able to meet the expectations that others or I have of myself. But on stage it's a different matter.
Mio padre aveva il morbo di Parkinson. My father had Parkinson's. Fine, non gli ha di Even at the end, this did not stop him from playing the accordion. Era Even if the music that came out bore strong signs of his illness. Negli ultimi anni, i suoi movimenti erano diventati. In his final years, his movements became exaggerated, clumsy, uncontrolled. My father was losing his coordination. Ogni giorno mi sembra di rivedere quel movimento. Every day, I see those exaggerated, clumsy and uncontrolled movements in my daughter, who is discovering her body's possibilities. Ogni giorno. Every day, those movements are more refined. My daughter is learning coordination. Alla fine è sempre la stessa cosa. In the end, it's always the same thing, repeated in a different way. You get to the point of having an idea, and it becomes your obsession. And everything you do after that is nothing more than a re-elaboration of that idea. A painter who repaints the same painting, a songwriter who recomposes the same song, a writer who rewrites the same novel. They change the colors, the notes, the words, but deep down the concept is always the same. An artist does nothing more than repeat themselves in nuanced variations, repeating their interpretation of things. Or maybe this immobility isn't in the work itself, but rather in those who experience it. I always have something to say, but often it isn't worth it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Dal vivo è diverso. Dal vivo è teatro. Ah.